What drugs did they take? What drugs? Fentanyl. I've never seen a scene like this before. Uh, it's definitely chaotic. You, is he breathing? Yes. I, was, I was not prepared for this, something that you cannot plan for. It was end of shift towards uh, 6.30 in the morning. A 404, which is an unknown trouble, uh, had broadcast uh, directly across the street from Mandalay Bay. So I just started heading down that way, um, rolling uh, lights and sirens. As I entered the, uh, the complex, people were flagging me down um, for room 22. Um, I initially started heading towards 16, deviated to 22, peeked my head in, and there were two citizens uh, uh, giving CPR to two subjects unresponsive. Uh, when I had multiple subjects down, I didn't know if it was a biohazard situation or if it was an actual, an actual overdose. When I did get in, in, inside room 16, there was a citizen inside there, and she relayed the information saying that these three individuals were snorting what they thought to be cocaine, which ended up being fentanyl. Control Mary 37, does anybody have any Narcan they can bring to room 16? I happen to have some Narcan, so as I arrived, I, I went and found Officer Clapp. You haven't had any Narcan? No, Narcan no, Narcan no Narcan I haven't had any yet. When I first entered the room, it was a female. Um, I went down to her, I saw that she was like faintly breathing, so I went to the other guy, and um, he was not breathing, and he looked like he was losing color in his face. Um, so I administered the uh, Narcan. <laughs> It felt like forever, but he eventually, like his eyes popped open and he just went back and I put him in the recovery position. I wish I had more Narcan on me because that guy could have definitely used more. Uh, when medical got there, they uh, definitely dosed him with, I think, twice more because uh, that's what saved that guy. Um, once he's in our care, um, I'm, I'm determined, or all of us are determined that we're not going to lose anybody that day. Um, I know the dangers of fentanyl, but to actually be exposed to it for, on a first-hand basis was just, uh, was just beyond me. This is why we signed up, is to to save lives and make sure everyone's going back to their loved ones every day. I joined this agency to help those who can't help themselves. Um, I'm not here to judge, I'm here to preserve life. And in that instance, that's exactly what I did. I relied back on my training and experience and just handled business.